So in the series of short videos, this one is on RNA editing. This is the usual disclaimer. Now definition wise, what is RNA editing? So RNA editing is, it, is defined as change in nucleotide sequence of RNA following transcription leading to a change in its information content this particular process is called as this particular phenomenon is called as RNA editing. So this is the definition of RNA editing that post transcriptional change in the nucleotide sequence of RNA, which leads to change in its information content. This is called as RNA editing. So this happens mostly in eukaryotes and it is an ingenious, another novel way of creating diversity in eukaryotes. There are many examples of RNA editing now known, but RNA editing in apolipoprotein B is probably the best understood. So we'll try and understand this process by taking the example of apolipoprotein B. So what are apolipoproteins? Apolipoproteins are components of lipoproteins. Lipoproteins. They form an amphipathic Amphipathic means the one which has got both hydrophilic and hydrophobic groups. So they form an amphipathic outer shell, enclosing triacylglycerol and cholesterol. So this is a lipoprotein and this outer shell, the one in green and yellow, this. So this is the outer shell and you know you have both lipids as well as proteins. These are proteins, this yellow is protein this pink is protein. So these are proteins. So this they form an outer shell and these are the lipid. Triacylglycerols, cholesterol and other lipids. So they are enclosed in this. And these lipoproteins, as you all know, they play an important role in the transport of lipids, fat soluble vitamins, etc. within the body. So transport of lipid material within the body from one side to the other side takes place with the help of these lipoproteins wherein those lipids are enclosed in an amphipathic outer shell, which is comprising um, apolipoproteins and the lipids. Okay, apolipoprotein exists in two forms. And what are the, those two forms? You know, there is one called apoB100. Its molecular mass is 512 kilodalton, and it has as many as a single polypeptide of 4536 amino acids. It is synthesized in liver and it helps in the transport of endogenously synthesized lipids. So this is the structure of ApoB100. Single polypeptide, 4,536 amino acids. ApoB48, this is another version of ApoB protein. Its molecular mass is 240 kilodalton only and it is made up of the first 2,152 amino acids of ApoB100, starting from N-terminus the first 2150 amino acids, the one in blue. And that makes ApoB100. It is synthesized in small intestine. This one is synthesized in, in liver, but this is synthesized in small intestine. And what does it do? It participates in the transport of dietary fats in the form of chylomicrons. After digestion of the lipids in the small intestine, those chylomicrons are picked up by this ApoB100 ApoB48, lipoprotein, which has ApoB48 in the outer shell and that transported in the body, right? The question that comes is how these two proteins are synthesized. Are there, are there, there two separate genes for the two or ApoB48 is a proteolytic product? You know, it's a product which is obtained after proteolytic cleavage of ApoB100. So the answer is that they are not synthesized by two different genes. They are synthesized, they are coded by a single gene. But ApoB48 and ApoB100, they arise from the same gene by an altogether different process, altogether different mechanism, which is called as RNA editing. So let us understand what is that RNA editing is. So you have a messenger RNA. This is the messenger RNA, which is unedited. And in the liver, when it gets translated, it is in the liver, 
it synthesizes that apoB hundred. Okay, the longer protein. Okay, which is made up of four thousand five hundred thirty-six amino acids. But in small intestine, this codon at two thousand one hundred fifty-three position, CAA two thousand one hundred fifty-three position. This specific C in codon number two one five three in small intestine gets deaminated by a specific deaminase, which is present only in small intestine. Doesn't occur. It is not present in the liver. It is present only in the small intestine. And this C of two one five three codon number two one five three that gets deaminated to U, and the resulting codon UAA is a stop codon. So translation begins as usual from the five prime end, and because there is a stop codon in between now, when the translation is taking place in small intestine, it stops over here, generating a truncated protein which is apoB48. The first 2152 amino acid they make apoB48 because codon number 2153 is a stop codon, so the chain protein chain term gets terminated over here. so presence of a deaminase in small intestine you know is responsible for this rna editing is responsible for change in the nucleotide sequence resulting into the change in information content this codon codes for an amino acid whereas this codon is a stop codon you know it dictates what it dictates that protein synthesis be terminated over here so this way you know having just one gene in higher organisms that gene can synthesize that gene can give rise to two different end products thank you